Society is at its most connected level ever. The rise of technology and the interconnectedness of digital has increased our means of communication exponentially. The incredible adoption of social media and the rise of self-publishing is connecting people globally. Over a decade of content is uploaded to YouTube every day, over a billion users on Facebook, and over 350,000 tweets per minute on Twitter. Technological innovation is leading to change. The effective use of social media to organize, communicate, and raise awareness during the Arab Springs. Wearable technology innovating entire industries. Self-driving cars and Uber revolutionizing the automotive industry. International network of activists or hacktivists like Anonymous holding government, religious groups and corporates to account. As a society, our advance forward is picking up the pace in all areas but one, politics. And the disconnect between citizens and their democracy has never been greater. Look at the absence of political education. Why can some young people sail through school without even knowing the basics? And now look at trust, party funding, donors, expenses. Our politics is pale, male and stale. It's not right. Politics, when you speak about politics, it's almost like a, it's almost like a bad word that you shouldn't say in public. I think what we see in media these days is often a quite negative view of politicians. There should be a way for young people to get informed so they can actually do something about them. Who do I vote for? So now I'm interested which party best aligns with me. Young people are ignored by a system that puts up barriers to prevent their active engagement. They're not seen by the parties of votes worth winning, so they're being punished. Why is it some people don't know who to vote for? Why is it some people say the parties are all the same and they can't tell the difference between them? It's the creation of digital tools that will be a catalyst in the evolution of our democracy, with young people at the forefront. Bite the Ballot and Demos have created Verto, the world's first voter advice application for young people. Verto aims to help potential voters match their views and values to the political parties on a range of issues. We have taken a user-first approach when creating Verto, keeping the target demographic in mind throughout, and we've done it based on four core values. Accessible, the barrier to entry must be low, and internet connection is all you should need. Simple, it has to be simple. The language used must be straightforward and accessible. Intuitive, the interface and user journey must be intuitive to younger audiences, engaging and interactive. Fast, the app must be responsive and give feedback quick. The navigation is fluid and vital. Fast response time and feedback across the device is crucial. Young people really care about politics, but they just don't make that connection between our passions and politics. Oh, I, I do care about this. Oh, politicians make decisions about that. Oh, okay. My generation, like all people, care about issues such as jobs, housing and tuition fees. Verto helps a user make a connection between the issues that matter to them and politics. When a user arrives at the beginning of Verto, they see key words that are familiar to them. These are issue areas identified by our research that our target demographic care about. A user simply taps on an issue revealing three statements. They then swipe right to agree or left to disagree. Verto is designed to start matching from the first tap that can be played anywhere, on your mobile, tablet or desktop. It exposes a user to a comprehensive picture of how political parties match with their own values. This is displayed visually through Verto by three modal dials, simply named Me, Around Me and Country. The Me dial displays your match results to you instantaneously as you begin to disagree or agree with the statements. The second dial is around me and this displays how your constituency is going to vote and also displays candidates running in your area. The final dial is named country and displays the results of everyone using Verto alongside how people voted in 2010. Young people are less likely to be associated with a political party and are more issues focused. Who cares the same way about me as immigration? for example. Verto allows users to see who represents them on each of the issues that they care about. It's really simple. A user picks a statement. Well, I definitely agree with that one. A simple swipe from the user, but on the back end, it cross-references your stance with those of the political parties. Each party either agrees or disagrees with the statement, and your score is determined by how often you match with each party. You can also pick the three most important policy categories that matter to you. When the parties agree with you on those issues, they get higher scores. 
pretty cool. We have designed and developed Verto to be incredibly accurate and impartial. The objectivity and neutrality of a VAA is paramount. A poorly designed VAA could unduly affect the outcome of the election, so we left no stone unturned. We have hosted a 10-person academic panel in association with the Political Studies Association with specialisms ranging from VAA logic to social media to political science and statistics. To ensure it provides an accurate and up-to-date picture of the party's positions, we researched statements, speeches and policy documents and presented our assessment to policy managers from all seven parties included in the tool. We've been inspired by our target audience the entire way through developing Verto. To ensure young people would find it simple, intuitive, fast and accessible, we work with focus and test groups throughout the development. What more would you want to see? And also could have had a world affairs project explanation is that clear as well. Some of um, the writing that was explaining what the questions are should be worded differently. It felt a bit boring, frankly. Okay. Um, in kind of the way I was interacting. Turn the camera off, please. <laughs> <laughs> Verto is a starting point for the user to establish a basic understanding of the political landscape, hopefully inspiring them to engage further and research. We see Verto as just the beginning of a new age of digital democracy, one where everyone has access to the knowledge that they need to be empowered to make change. Politics made simple. <laughs>